Welcome back. You're watching White Mountains today. It is uh, President's Day, the start of a huge vacation week, and we are actually heading to the top of King Pine right now to talk with Thomas Prindle. And uh, is this is that a still shot of corduroy? No, we're we're live right now with Thomas. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Boy, what a gorgeous day it is today on this President's Day. So, uh, you know, cheers to our presidents of the United States of America. And uh, it's going to be a gorgeous day to be here at King Pine. Beautiful corduroy, wonderful grooming. You guys are actually uh, 100% open for this vacation week, right? Yeah, uh, King Pine Ski Area, our snow groom, our uh, uh, snowmaking operations team did an incredible job at the start of this season to get us 100% open. All 17 trails are buried deep in snow. And then our groomers have been doing a great job uh, kind of managing the fluctuation in temperatures and some of the uh, systems, weather systems we've seen that have not been all snow, and they've done an incredible job. And we're 100% open, all trails. Uh, we've got all lifts scheduled today, operating at 9 a.m., and uh, we'll be operating that way through the week. And uh, we've got all trails groomed, except for Pine Brulee and Pitch Pine. They're not fully groomed, so as temperatures start to warm up today, I think we're going to hit in the mid to upper 40s things should start to soften up so it might be some some decent bump skiing out there today all right we are live with thomas prindle you may be watching this uh as well later on in this vacation week as well we'll re-air this several times uh but yeah we have a little bit of everything this week in terms of weather we've got um some warmer temperatures some colder temperatures and there's even uh, some talk of a snowstorm coming on friday so again king pine is 100 percent open on the the alpine side and uh, you also have cross-country skiing over there and, and other activities, right, Thomas? Yes, uh, we've got the uh, Pine Meadows Tubing Park open this week daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's been very popular and tickets have been selling out. So I definitely encourage people for the snow tubing and rental equipment and lesson programs. They're going to want to go to kingpine.com and be reserving that online well in advance. So, yeah, we've got the snow tubing at the Pine Meadows Tubing Park. We also have the Toko Dome Ice Skating Rink open, and that'll be open as conditions permit. Uh, throughout the week, um, we've got our classic Zamboni that gets out there and resurfaces the ice all week, uh, which is great. And then we've got the Purity Spring Resort Cross Country and Snowshoe Reserve. Uh, our crew has been trying to groom that. It's been a challenge, uh, you know, because that relies fully on natural snowfall. And uh, the grooming equipment that we do have, they try and get it groomed out, but it hasn't been the greatest. I mean, I'll be flat out honest. It hasn't been the greatest conditions for our cross country, but hopefully with uh, possibly Friday's snow uh, that will get those conditions back in shape. But certainly the snowshoeing is incredible. And uh, we've got some guided snowshoe tours coming up this week. We've got one scheduled for this Wednesday at 2 p.m. Those head out of the Purity Spring Resort, the mill building. Uh, but it, they're free to take part in the guided snowshoe tours. But you want to purchase your skate and trails ticket well in advance. And also, if you need rental equipment, you want to make sure you get that well ahead of time because the rental equipment comes out of the King Pine Ski Area Main Base Lodge. But then you've got to head down to the Purity Spring Resort, the mill, the front desk there, and that's where the tours head out of. So uh, all the information on this is available at kingpine.com. But we have the guided snowshoe tour this Wednesday at 2 p.m. and then next Saturday at 2 p.m. All right. So reserve your rentals for that in advance. Also sign up in advance. What about uh, things like Alpine rentals? I know we have to sign up in advance for... Uh, like you want to sign up in advance probably for tubing tickets and things like that. Alpine rentals are, do you need to sign up in advance for those? Yeah. Yeah. Those have been very popular. I mean, obviously our rental uh, staff is doing an incredible job trying to keep up with it. Uh, I mean, I'll again, just full transparency that we have a busy week We're we're having busy days. Uh, people can definitely anticipate if they have not reserved ahead of time that we might be sold out of rentals. Uh, we're also experiencing longer than usual wait times in our tickets and rental shop area. But uh, it's a busy vacation week, so I'm sure that's fully expected, but certainly our crew uh, with the Alpine Ski and Snowboard Rental Equipment, um, we have uh, basically an entirely new inventory of uh, really nice rental equipment, so uh, certainly uh, those can be reserved ahead of time, uh, but uh, definitely encourage people to reserve that online well in advance because we may sell out uh, some, some days. Yeah, kingpine.com is the place to go. Always you want to check in advance wherever you're going this vacation week because obviously crowds are up. And uh, you want to make sure you know what to expect when you get there. Kingpine.com. And, Thomas, we're look, th this corduroy that is behind you is uh, making me salivate a little bit. I want to get out there and, and put some first tracks down. Um, what, what? Yeah, we're, I mean, I, I, you know, this morning I went out on the snow report. I continue to call it machine groom loose and frozen granular. But, I mean, it's, it's really, you know, it's almost kind of with that snow, that new snow that we got Saturday. 
it's almost kind of like a packed powder and the conditions are just phenomenal. I mean, just incredible. I, you know, I, I can't speak for every other ski area, but our guys do a great job grooming. And like I said, I mean, we're a hundred percent, hundred percent open, all trails, all terrain, all lifts. And, uh, it's definitely a day to get out because it's going to be warming up. I mean, there's not uh, no wind out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> mm. And, uh, it's just a great day to be outside. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of things going on in terms of we've got our new Trails End Tavern Express outside window so people can take advantage and grab a quick beer or something and sit outside of our main base lodge with, uh, by some fire pits and just enjoy the day. It's going to be a beautiful day. And then uh, also I want to mention, you know, after skiing and riding, we have Traditions Restaurant, Cafe, and Pub just down the street at Purity Spring Resort. And uh, it's not open tonight, but it's going to be open for special hours tomorrow night and then for its regular hours through the remainder of the week. If people are not familiar with tra Traditions Restaurant, Cafe, and Pub, it's basically a new local coffee spot. You can grab uh, from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. They're open. Uh, we're serving uh, you know, fresh coffee, hot and cold drinks, uh, espresso drinks. We're using local front, front side grind espresso beans to be mm. making coffee drinks. They make incredible breakfast sandwiches. And now they've recently expanded their dinner menu. Uh, so Traditions Pub, and they've reopened the full dining room. So uh, we've got a great option for people i know you know it's a busy vacation week there's a lot of restaurants that you know they might be closed midweek definitely check us out at uh, traditionsnh.com or go to purityspring.com uh, and you can find out and view the menus and hours for traditions restaurant uh we have also up in the trails and tavern is always a great place for apres drinks um go see the bartenders upstairs there we've got live music every saturday we've got uh this upcoming saturday we've got the riley parkhurst duo i know riley's a popular local musician uh, so she's going to be performing upstairs in Trails End Tavern. And, uh, yeah, a lot going on. But, yeah, you're absolutely right. This, this quarter ray is just absolutely <laughs> It's incredible. dying to be skied and, right there. It's calling my name. Uh, but yeah, yeah, and over my shoulder there, the reason we have such great coverage here, that's uh, Purity Lake. He's freezing up a little bit. And, uh, He's going to come back. I have a feeling. No lack of there you are. Right, we we sorry, lost you for a second, but you're back. All right, yeah, so I was just talking about Purity Lake. That's our water source, and uh, no lack of water here for snowmaking. No, it's gorgeous. I know you guys have, uh, there's loons and bald eagles, depending on the season, playing around in, in your waters there. It's an absolutely gorgeous spot, and that's, that's one of the things I love about King Pine the most is uh, I love the resort. It's very family-friendly. You feel like everyone in the family can have a good time there with all the different activities you guys offer. But uh, I just love the location. I love the drive through 153 past Crystal Lake in Eaton and the Little White Church. And uh, yeah, folks, Thomas was absolutely right. If you're looking for kind of a little hidden gem traditions restaurant at Purity Spring Resort, you can kind of get away from the crowds in North Conway and your family or maybe your, um, your date will thank you for it if you can get down there. So, And it's very close to Conway. So, Thomas, I think we touched on everything. Anything else? Uh, no, I just want to mention uh, in March, we've got some great fundraising events coming up. I want to mention March 4th, uh, starting point, uh, is doing a, a, a race for a reason event. Um, and people can find that information at starting point. They're a great organization, um, based out of, uh, Conway, I believe. And then also we are bringing back, I know Cynthia's challenge is, uh, they're going to be hosting a snow day event. This is not going to be a 24 hour event, uh, but they are going to be hosting a snow day event on Saturday, March 19th. And then also we've got a cardboard box race to close out our season uh, at the end of March. And then also I uh, just want to mention looking way ahead in April, uh, Granite Backcountry Alliance is coming back with their wild corn fest. So uh, it's going to be a great spring, but, uh, you know, don't wait for then. Come out and enjoy some uh, great conditions today. Yeah, and if you get in your car right now, you might be able to ski that corduroy before too many other people get their skis on it right there. Thomas, thank you so much for joining us live, and uh, have a great thank rest you, of your week. Chris, as always. All right, bye-bye. All right, man. Bye. That is Thomas Prindle, King Pine Ski Area, East Madison, New Hampshire, joining us live. And yeah, the snow looks great there. We have a kind of a crazy weather week with rain, warm temperatures. Uh, we just were live on Monday with that interview. Friday, it looks like we could have some snow, but whatever the weather conditions, they're going to make the most of most of it. Groom that terrain out, and uh, lots of fun family activities over there. All right, quick break. When we come back, we'll get back into the watch and wind swing of things and an update on your weather forecast. Stay tuned.